the last of my Ulta stuff. So once I show you guys all this, then I can move on to Sephora. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm Crystal, if you are new here. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Today is Sunday. We're gonna go ahead and start the weekly vlog off in my beauty room. This is like the best place in the house, my beauty room. So I'm in here because I did a haul last week. If you checked out last week's video, you would have saw all the goodies that I got. But I need to put those things away because I'll have another haul at the end of the week and I don't want this desk to get cluttered. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me while I put the things away and let you see sneak peeks of my makeup collection. I do plan on doing a in-depth makeup collection going drawer by drawer showing you all the things once I finish hauling all this stuff. Um, yeah, but if you want to get a sneak peek of what I got now, then stay tuned. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I did change my nails. This is what my nails are looking like this week. They're actually the same nails from last week. I just painted them and I used this NYC nail polish. This is what it looks like. It's in the color Fashion Queen. Okay, because I'm a queen, Fashion Queen. That's cute. And as I was painting them when I got done with it, they look just like some nails I just purchased from um, Ulta that'll be in the haul later this week but they look just like the nails so I had to pull them out the box just to compare them and look at these nails and look at my nails they look just like these so I guess I really like this color maybe that's why I gravitated toward these but um yeah that's those and these are the nails I have on here using this color so <laughs> that's cute stay tuned you'll see that haul at the end of the week sometime this week maybe thursday um because i got some more nails but anyway so these are the things oh i forgot to tell you girl i fixed my palette so remember the roxy palette that broke last week i fixed it so this is what it looks like let me see if i can cover it up and not blind you this is what the palette looks like. So it was just that one shade that had came crumbled. So I tried to press it and uh, it don't look the cutest, but I mean, it's all right. It's all right for me. Don't nobody use it but me. I'd be exaggerating on these prices. I looked on my Ulta website and this palette is $15, but I got it on sale for $9. And at first I was like, mm, I'm going to leave it alone. But $9, I'm about to fix this palette, girl. So I fixed it. <laughs> I fixed it. And that's what it looks like. Um, so, yeah. But let's put the rest of the stuff away. So the things we're going to put away, we're going to put away this blush palette. And this palette here. Um, we're also going to put away this bronzer and, um, what is this, bronzer and blush. So we're going to go to the blush drawer, the bronzer drawer, um, foundation and concealer drawer. We'll put these things away. And then I have some sponges. All this was in the haul last week. Just trying to show you briefly. Um, so we're just going to put the things away. Okay, this is my concealer drawer. So we're just going to put the concealers in here. I kind of put these type of containers in this area then any type of pot concealers I put back here so that's the concealer drawer foundations um, I am really pretty much full with foundations I'm gonna start doing a declutter as I try out new products if I like them I'll keep it and you know but this drawer is pretty much full I think and I really put all the bottles here. This top drawer that I have here is actually the drawer I put like these type of containers in. So I'll just put some room back there. So this next drawer is my sponges and facial wipes and facial cleaners and stuff in this drawer. So we're just gonna put that here. See these sponges don't be coming clean. They're still stained. I might need to get rid of that, but 
we'll just put them in there. Have all kinds of sponges in here. So that's the sponge drawer. Blushes are in this drawer. Oh, it's stuck. But there we go. That's the blush drawer. And I wanted to find somewhere to put this blush, but I actually purchased some other blushes that are gonna go in this drawer. So I think I don't wanna put the blushes in here. I think that I'm going to put them just in my palette drawer. So this is the drawer over here that I keep palettes in. So I think I'm just gonna put it in here. Both of them, the bronzer and the blush palette in there so that's this drawer here isn't it so pretty is it just me i love makeup but i wanted these two to go in this drawer too because they're other palettes i'm just i need to organize this better because that's not that's not right let's see if it'll close up happy monday i am in the kitchen just got off work i am cooking some dinner for us. It's gonna be something quick and um, the boys like it. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm making. Girl, I'm gonna to take it out the freezer and stick it in a pot, you hear me? This is the uh, Xanarez Blackened Chicken Alfredo. Um, the boys really like it, like I said. I make about two bags when I have the small one like this uh, because the boys can eat. But yeah, we're just gonna have some this and they'll probably have some garlic bread or something with theirs if they want. I don't want any of that, so I'm gonna ask them, see if they want it, but yep, that's my Monday. See you tomorrow. Okay, again, this is what I'm making. It's by Xanarez, the New Orleans style blackened chicken Alfredo, seasoned with grilled white meat, chicken, and penne pasta, and a zesty, creamy Alfredo sauce. 10 minute cook time, girl. Okay, so this is what I do. I just have it like this. This is what it looks like when it's done. And then when I add, want to add a little kick to it, I just put some extra Parmesan cheese. I get this from um, Aldi. And so I just open it up and just sprinkle a little bit on it and then we'll be ready for dinner. So let me put some on and I'll show you what it looks like. friend it is Tuesday is it Tuesday it is Tuesday huh it's Tuesday girl <laughs> I'll be getting lost track of time but it is Tuesday and um, I'm in my son's room as you can see go Cowboys right um, I actually am getting him some furniture so he's getting bigger this is for the little one he's 15 and his clothes are like too big now for his drawers I guess they were youth boys drawers I don't, I don't know he's had them for a while and he has um you know they, they got some wear and tear so ended up getting rid of them and i'm in his room and i'm about to sweep the floor i need to do some touch-up paint and all that kind of stuff but not doing that today i'm in his room because i ordered him some furniture don't look i got the ladder in here that's his name on the wall i gotta do some touch-up to his paint as well um but i'm in his room and um, I cleared it out and I have some people on the way to bring some new dressers for him that are bigger to hold his things and looks like they just got here. They just texted me. So let me go let them in, get the um, dressers put up and then I'll show you what it looks like when we are done. This is what the room is looking like now. The new dresser is going to go here with the chest beside the bed there and then over here is where the other dresser is going to go. I am going to clean and repaint this door so yeah this is what it's looking like now i still got to do touch up paint in the room and repaint the baseboard so that is on the list of things to do and put the new outlets on there so just try to be productive in this spring time i like the spring clean but i'll come back and show you once the furniture gets put in place Okay, so they have delivered the furniture. It's a lot bigger than I remember. There was actually two sets that I was looking at and I ended up ordering the more expensive one um, because it was a little bit nicer, but I forgot how much bigger it was than the other one. So this is the dresser. 
it may not go up this high. I'm gonna have to take it out the box to see. Hopefully it's not that tall, but we'll see. And then this is the nightstand. Um, yeah, I'm hoping they're not this big because they look huge in this room. This is the wall that I wanted to put the chest of drawers on. However, it's not big enough because the drawers are huge and they'll be blocking the closet. This is the box that the tall chest of drawers is in. Look how big it is. I'm hoping it's sitting on a whole bunch of cardboard or something, not this tall, because I think this box is tall as I am and I really don't, I hope it's not this tall. But I'm gonna have to put it on this wall instead of the other wall. This is the smaller of the um, rooms. Let me turn around. So like I was saying, this is the smaller of the four bedrooms in my house. And I have been thinking about switching rooms and letting him have the guest guest room slash game room slash Roxy room because they used to play their game in there, but now they play it in their room when they do play it. And then I don't really be having guests, girl. And so right now it's Roxy's room. So that's why I say guest game girl room <laughs> that's what we call it a uh, roxy's room so i've been thinking about switching but then i'll have to repaint the walls and stuff because right now it's just like a brown tannish color and he wants something like this sports theme so i have to repaint the whole wall but this is a lot bigger than i now i know i'm not the tallest person i'm five three look how tall this dresser is to me so i'm hoping that it's standing on some cardboard so I'm gonna open it up and then we'll see. The boys are at school right now, so I may wait till they get home and have them um, help. But I still have like about an hour or so and I feel like I could be doing something productive while they're out. So let me just open up one thing while they're gone and then I'll let them help me do the rest when they get in. So let's open it, girl. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, girl, we are back. We're gonna go ahead and open up the nightstand again disregard the bed i have some clothes folded here that's gonna go in the dresser once we get that together and the tv and all that stuff so just disregard that let's go ahead and open this up again i'm five three and this is going to like waist height so i'm hoping that it's on some plastic and it's not this tall because it's big it's too big for this room i mean it'll work but let's just see. So I don't have box cutters in the house and I didn't feel like going out in the garage. I know, I should go, but I'm not. I'm just gonna use these scissors. <laughs> We're just gonna open it up. I'm praying that I don't break a nail because it's gonna hurt. And then I don't wanna be looking crazy too. So I just have you sitting up on the other dresser. So let's see if I can do this on my own. Roxy, come from under there, out of the way. So it is on some plastic, I mean some styrofoam. So I don't know if I should be taking that off. Maybe I should leave that on. I don't know, girl, we just winging it. I ain't thought nothing through. We just, we just going with it. So maybe I should lay it down. I should lay it down. I Maybe mean, I should cut the side. Maybe I should cut the side and just open it that way. Girl, I'm scared about I'm scared I'm gonna break these nails. Um, okay. I think I'm gonna lay it down. So you better get back. And then just kind of lift it. Is this a good idea? I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I can't grip it. Roxy, move, baby. Move. I do not want to smash it. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna go with this. I don't like how that's sounding. Did it now, girl. Oh, I didn't like how that sound. Let's... Okay. Okay. It's coming. It's coming out. It just sound like I'm. 
turn stuff up. Um, it looks fine. It looks fine. Now let's turn it back over. has this thinner one to put like his little jewelry because he like his little um his chains honey so he can put his little chains and bracelets or whatever he want in there and then this one is a little bit thicker um can i open it i need the handles i need the handles to open up that one i can't do it i need the handles but that one is like a two drawer one but it's actually one one deep drawer it looks like two drawers but it's one deep drawer but uh, i can't get it open let me sit you down okay maybe you can see there's some shadows there maybe if i lean it forward okay there we go okay now look at that one see how deep that one is that's a deep drawer and you're ready gonna have all kind of plates and cups but that, he's that kid at all uh, I always bring stuff in this room so i'm gonna have to stay on them and that is the main reason why i did not want to put him in that bigger room because that boy y'all think i got a lot of stuff and be collecting stuff and whoo that one he he will junk up a room do you hear me sometimes we take all three of us in here to get this room together because he will junk up a room so um I kind of want to keep them contained in this small room and um so that's why i haven't changed them and switched them over but i am liking i am liking the new dresser and so this bed is just black um but now i feel like he needs um a bigger bed uh, with a headboard or something but I don't know we're gonna we're gonna get this and there is a matching bed that goes with this set but um i didn't get it because it's a queen size and this room will really be packed if um we go with that the queen size so i didn't get the matching bed i thought these would be fun but now i kind of feel like he needs a bigger headboard or something so i don't know or some type of wall art because that wall looks so big and bare he did have a um a dallas cowboy poster up there but it didn't fell down child and got wrinkled so i just threw it away i'll get him another one but um that one was kind of tough to do on my own so i am going to wait till the boys get home and then we can um open up these other ones and and see what we think so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it open though because i do want to see how tall this dresser is so i will be back and i'll show you the rest okay the boys have made it home brayden said he likes his new dresser look at my baby he didn't pass me oh my gosh i can't believe how tall you are 
He's still my baby. My mm -hmm. baby to pass me. Oh my goodness. I gotta take a picture and send it to you, Grandma. So she can see <laughs> how tall, how much taller. You really gonna be taller than her. He's just much taller than me. My mom's 4'11, so he I'm 5'3. So he's, he's probably 5'6. Yeah, grandma's short. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so you like your dresser? Mm -hmm. I mean your nice thing in the way. And then we're about to open up the dresser and um one of the chest. Okay, Brayden, I need you to come and do a pledge. Make a pack. Hi, Hi Brayden. Will not mess up this room. Will not mess up this room. I will not bring food in my room. <laughs> I will not bring food in my room. I will not put cups and plates and bowls inside my dresser drawers. I will not put cups and plates in and bowls. My, oh, and bowls inside my dresser drawers. And I'm going to take care of my stuff. And I'm going to take care of my stuff. Because my mama work hard. Because my mama work hard. To give me nice things. To give me nice things. And Jesus blessed us. And Jesus blessed us. With nice things. With nice things. So I'm going to take care of it. So I'm going to take care of it. And so you, I have your word, Brayden. I have your word. And my name Brayden. is Brayden. <laughs> y'all heard it, right? Y'all heard it. It's on camera. We read a pack. He gave his vow. So y'all heard it. So we're going to be able to refer back to this when I find a bowl in here, okay? But now he's um, going to help open everything up. Okay, we got it finished. So this is the dresser, the chest. It's still kind of big, taller than what I thought. I don't know, the light it is doing something a little weird in here. Um, but then this is the chest. And then this is the dresser. It's sitting up pretty high. He's not used to it being so high, but he'll get adjusted to it. We already put some little baskets in his drawers to help him separate his things. I think I might need to get a few more of those baskets. Um, we'll see once we start putting stuff back, but it's all done. It's some more of this trash in here, Randy. Just take the rest of those boxes out and then y'all done, baby. Thank so, you. how much was the payment? $45? Like an hour? So, that's how you get paid. And driving the car? <laughs> uh, and, and gas money, that's how you get paid. All right, Brady, come, come tell them what you think about your... Your room, now that you got everything so far together. We still got to straighten your bed, put your new covers on, and all that stuff. I like it. You like it? I like it too. Thank you. Since you're 15, now you're officially a big boy. <laughs> so you got to have big boy dressers. Yep. Right, get the rest of that trash out. All right, that's going to be my Tuesday. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, friend, it is Wednesday. Out the house, honey. It is hot. I'm out because I am headed to the beauty supply store. Yep, I am. I'm going to the beauty supply store because I'm about to get some a rinse from my hair. I am just tired of looking at these grays. I, I really am. I don't want to do anything permanent, but I am going to do a rinse because I just want to cover up some of these grays. Um, you know, I don't mind getting older. I, I'm loving being in my 40s. However, sometimes when I be looking at them grays, it be making me feel some type of way. All right, I have made it to the beauty supply. We're gonna go on in, see what we can find. Hopefully they have them in stock because I really wanna do this hair. Bye.
All right, I didn't got back in the car. I didn't grab much of anything. Did y'all see those nails? Weren't they cute? I didn't get any because I have the order coming in of some more nails. And I got a haul of nails to show you, so I didn't get any. I was good. I got this um, sleep cap, satin sleep cap. That's what it looks like. And it has a drawstring on it. Because, girl, every day I wake up, my cap be on the floor. And I be like, what, what am I doing in my sleep, honey? And then I picked up, this is the oil that I use. Not oil, what is this? This is the this is the hair color that I use. It's a temporary hair color. And I just get it in black, not jet black, just black. So hopefully, we can hide these grays, girl. You know, when you're sitting in the car vlogging, people don't understand. Um, and then I also picked up this. So I'm hoping that this will help with my scalp issues that I'm having. Like, I don't know. It's like right in the, this part right here, just right in the top is so itchy and flaky and dry. So I got this. So we're going to see. Its main ingredient is sulfur. So hopefully it does something. So... We're gonna see if it does to get my scalp under control. So that's it. I was good. I spent twenty dollars, nineteen dollars and forty-five cents. I was so good. So just wanted to show you. Hey, friend. Happy Thursday. I just got off work. I'm not gonna do the haul on Thursday, so I'll probably put it up on Friday or Saturday. I'm tired, so what I did was just set everything up. So these are all the things that I'm going to be hauling. Just set them up. That way it'll be easier. But this is the last of my Ulta stuff. So once I show you guys all this, then I can move on to Sephora. But yeah, you guys see this. You'll see it on Friday or Saturday. It's Friday. I haven't done anything, but just come get some gas. I ended up getting the mid grade, which was four thirty one a gallon. I typically get the super, but it's about four sixty six a gallon. So I ended up going with the mid grade, and then the low grade is like three seventy five. To fill up my SUV, sixty four dollars and twenty cent. I am glad that I work from home and I don't have to commute. Hey friend, we have made it to Saturday 
and I'm here to do my haul. I was thinking that maybe I should do my hauls on Saturday because I just wasn't feeling like it on Thursday or Friday. And um, I can just do the haul on Saturday and then Sunday, I can clean up my beauty room and we can do that on Sunday and put the things away kind of like we did this week where you started with me and we were putting the things away. Because after I haul all this tonight, um, I'm not gonna put it up. So we can just put it away tomorrow. So I think that's what we're gonna do. It'll help me keep my room clean and I get to interact with you guys. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do the haul. So again, this is gonna be an Ulta haul. I'm happy because it's gonna be the last of the things I picked up from Ulta. Um, Ulta is having a 21 days of beauty going on right now. So far I have purchased two things and we still have quite a few days left. I don't think there's anything I want. There are some books, some lip glosses that is gonna be on sale in a couple of days. I may get a few of those, but we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the things that I picked up to round up this huge Ulta haul and then we can put it away. And then we can start our Sephora stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I think I wanna start with body butters. I did take everything out and have it sitting up here. So the first thing I picked up is this, the Body Shop Shea Body Butter. It looks like that. I also picked up the Body Shop Body Butter in Coconut. That's what it looks like. There might be a glare from my mirror, so we'll see how this how this works. I may have to move around a little bit. Um, also, I did pick up another body butter. This is from Josie Moran. Uh, Moran, how do you say it? Josie Moran. And this is the unscented one no perfume I want to get this one so when I do use different perfumes with it it doesn't have a scent doesn't alter the scent of my fragrances so that's why I picked this up I don't have any other unscented body butters I don't think and so I think this is going to be on sale with the 21 days of beauty so I may get another one just so I can have it when I don't want to layer and just have the whatever scent of the perfume so yeah got that oh let me show you what it looks like it just comes in a container like this and just says the Josie Moran unscented all right all right moving on along put that there next thing I want to go over is my tree hut body scrubs so um i did get this little sampler set i guess trio set during the holidays and it came in a package of three i took it off just so i can try to be efficient but it came with the scent cotton candy it also has pink champagne and then sugar plum berries I'm not sure if you can get this now, these scents, because it was during the holidays and I'm just now getting a chance to haul it, girl. But they do have some new ones that you can get. Um, I did pick up also a bigger one of the sugar plum berries. So that's what it looks like. I did pick up the three new scents that they came out with. I got it in pineapple. That's what she looks like also picked up strawberry and then the last new scent that they have candied lemon so I am excited to add these tree hut things to my collection I did do a tree hut collection video quite some time ago but now that I have these things I need to um, reorganize my area in my beauty room where I have the tree huts so I may do another collection video because I've added quite a few more to my collection since I did that video. So that may be on the list. So if you'd like to see a tree hut collection video, subscribe to the channel, girl. Okay, keep it on, moving on. Um, next, I'm gonna show you just like the little random things. I only got like one or 
two things here or there just to get them out of the way. Okay, girl, this is gonna be a take two. I thought I was recording and I was not, so I did open up some things, but I'm just gonna show you anyway. Um, the next thing that I picked up was the Peter Thomas Roth set. I got the Firm Peeling Gel and also the 24 Gold Pure Luxury Eye Patches. This little kit was $75 and it was a good deal because the eye patches alone is 75 dollars from my understanding i can't remember but when i purchased it it was a good deal so i think the eye patches alone is 75 dollars but i also got the mask as well so we are going to give that a try maybe i'll do like a spa day and then we can do our eyes I'll keep you updated. I did pick up three mini size products from It Cosmetics. I did get the Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep. It's like a night cream. I picked up a small Confidence in a lotion. It's a gel lotion. And then I also have the Confidence in a Cleanser. Confidence in a Cleanser. I'm country girl. I'll be trying to say my words the proper way, but... Sometime it comes out how I really talk. The next two things that I have here are some pressed setting powders. I wanted to get them for traveling. Um, that way I didn't have to carry a bulky loose powder to set under the eyes. I wanted to get a pressed powder. So I did pick up the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. And then also the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. I got it in the light medium, so it has like a yellow undertone. So I'm hoping that this will work good as an under eye setting powder. So we shall see. I also picked up two of the new LA Girl Tinted Foundations. I picked up two colors because I wasn't quite sure what color I am. And I'm having a hard time matching my color because this time of year, I'm a lot more lighter than I normally am and so I picked it up in caramel at first but then watching reviews bronze look like it'll be better but now that I have them both they look the same I'm not gonna swatch in this video but when I do try them I'll swatch them both together when I try them on or when I wear them and I can show you guys but I got it in bronze and in caramel all right the next thing i picked up is from jacqueline cosmetics this is actually the first and only item that i own from jacqueline cosmetics i'm not too sure how i feel about jacqueline hill yet but um a lot of people rave about her products some of them i did pick up the bronze and blushing duo from jacqueline cosmetics that's what the packaging looks like and i have it in Hot Lava and Cocoa Rich. It's quite bulky in my opinion. Let me see if I can get it open. Just so we can see what the packaging looks like here. Yeah, she's bulky. Okay, it comes in a little black packaging and let's see oh okay these colors look promising they don't look like they'll be too light I feel like they'll definitely work on my skin tone nice blush and bronzer I did pick up a few things from Colourpop and I just wanted to go ahead and show you these things I did get the pretty fresh setting mist. I have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. I did pick it up in medium dark 148 neutral because I definitely do have a neutral undertone. You can tell from just now how red my foundation is. It has oxidized so I didn't feel like washing it off and doing all that. We just gonna finish this video girl. So this is what it looks like this is what it looks like and it looks promising because it is a neutral undertone 
So I'm looking forward to giving that a try. And then next I have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Pressed Powder. And I picked it up in medium dark 16. I'm sure you can't see that. Next we'll move on to concealers. I did pick up two concealers in this Ulta haul. I do have the Maybelline Superstay Concealer in shade 30. 30 looks so, so light. I don't know why I picked up 30. It looks so light. Um, the swatches online, you just don't know what you're getting because them swatches be way off. But we're going to see. I also picked up this Tarte Cosmetics Clay Stick Foundation. And I think I picked it up wanting to use it as a under eye brightener. Because I got it in the color Tan Sand. And tan sand is what I wear in the concealer from Tarte, the Shape Tape Concealer. So I'm thinking that's why I purchased it to try to use it as an under eye concealer. I don't, I don't know why I did that, but I mean, I feel like it'll be a good, a good shade to be an under eye concealer because that's what I have, the tan sand. So. That's what I'm going to have to use it for because it's clearly too light. So, yeah, we got that stick foundation. I think this was on sale for $10. Next, I picked up a few things from Juvia's Place. The first thing I have here is the Sculpt Eye Sculpt Eye Shade Brow Gel. I also picked up a bronze lip gloss. And I have it in the shade bronzed rose I don't know because it says bronze rose here but then on the top it says bronze honey so I'm not quite sure what color this is let's find out together oh okay so it is like a honey it's like a pinky undertone I do have one more of these in my collection um, in a different shade haven't used it yet I keep adjusting this lighting, but we're going to get it together. Just bear with me. Bear with me. So now we'll move on to our eyeshadows. I did pick up two eyeshadow palettes from Juvia's Place. I picked up the Chocolates by Juvia. And then also the Nomad palette by Juvia's Place. So I'm going to open them so we can see what they are looking like. Okay, she comes in a box and bubble wrapped. Okay. Ooh, and that's what the chocolates look like. So pretty. And this is the Nomad by Juvia's Place. And this is what the colors look like. Gorgeous. This is random, just an Ulta Beauty brow pomade. So I have that. Looks like there may be one more Ulta haul because I don't want this weekly vlog to go so long and I still have quite a few things left. I'm going to go ahead and stop it right here. So if you want to see the remaining of the things that I picked up from Ulta, you got to stay tuned and you got to subscribe so you can see my haul next week. I may actually save it and put this with the things that I picked up in the 21 Days of Beauty. That way it can be just one final, final Ulta haul. So I think I'm going to do that. But you got to stay tuned, girl, because there's some nails in there and some blushes in there. It's some bronzers. Stay tuned to next week's vlog so you can see the haul. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Thank you for all my new subscribers and I'll see you next time. Bye.